In a resounding echo of democracy, Super Tuesday has unveiled the unfolding drama of the upcoming U.S. presidential race, setting the stage for a historic rematch that's already captivating the nation's attention. The trajectory seems all but predestined. The American electorate is bracing for the ultimate showdown, as Joe Biden and Donald Trump gear up for what promises to be a monumental clash in November 2024. Trump's triumphant return to the political spotlight is unmistakable, as Super Tuesday's results paint a vivid portrait of his dominance within the Republican fold. With commanding victories across key states such as Alabama, Texas, and California, where he's poised to claim a lion's share of delegates, Trump's path to securing the GOP nomination appears increasingly assured. In his victory address, Trump wasted no time in launching salvos against Biden, capitalizing on issues like border security and the Afghan withdrawal to bolster his campaign narrative. Well, thank you very much. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. And they tell me, the pundits and otherwise, that there's never been one like this. There's never been anything so conclusive. This was an amazing, an amazing night, an amazing day. It's been an incredible period of time in our country's history. And now the worst things are happening. The things that are happening now are unthinkable. And they're unthinkable at the border. We have millions of people invading our country. This is an, ev an invasion. This is the worst invasion, probably. We've never had anything like it. No country has ever had anything like it. The number today could be 15 million people. And they're coming from rough places and dangerous places. Yet, despite Trump's seemingly unassailable lead, a formidable challenger emerges in the form of Nikki Haley, whose spirited performance in Super Tuesday defies expectations. Notably, her victories in Virginia and North Carolina signal a shifting landscape within the Republican base, particularly among younger, college-educated suburbanites who express reservations about Trump's legal entanglements. Haley's upset win in Vermont adds a fresh dynamic to the race, even as Trump maintains his grip on a majority of Super Tuesday states. While Haley's delegate gains may be modest, her persistence underscores a growing dissent within Republican ranks, challenging Trump's assumed invincibility. On the Democratic front, President Joe Biden reigns supreme, steamrolling through Super Tuesday with minimal opposition. His near-sweep of primaries underscores his firm grip on the party apparatus, leaving his rivals trailing far behind in delegate counts. However, amidst Biden's apparent dominance, the specter of uncommitted voters looms large, casting a shadow of uncertainty over his campaign's unity and coherence. As uncommitted delegates emerge as a noteworthy force in states like Michigan and Minnesota, Democrats are left grappling with the challenge of consolidating support behind their incumbent leader. As the dust settles on Super Tuesday, the stage is set for a riveting showdown between political titans, with Trump and Biden poised to lead their respective parties into a battle for the soul of America.